2019, we are within striking distance of the utopian everything connected ideal that has been eagerly anticipated since the very beginnings of science fiction. The term smart home is believed to be first coined by an American housing conglomerate in the 1970s, but the concept predates this term by decades. Let's take a look at how the smart home has evolved over the past 12 decades and then discuss what the future might have in store. 1900 to 1959. The early 1900s was a technical revolution within homes. The first self-powered vacuum cleaner was produced in 1901. This concept was refined to be closer to the machines we would recognise today in 1908, created out of a fan, a box and a fabric case by James Murray Spangler of Ohio. All manner of devices would be invented within the next 20 years. Washing machines, toasters, dryers, irons. These appliances would simplify domestic life and at that time would have been considered the devices of the future. The following half century would account for a tremendous leap for the world of home technology. Availabilities of new materials, communication methods and social progression would rapidly advance this period. World War I and II would also play their part in advancing technology at a heightened pace. The requirement to communicate rapidly and securely, refined radio wave usage and an urgent need to decode enemy messages jump-started the computer science revolution. 1960s Disney opened the Monsanto House of the Future in 1957. It was primarily a showcase for how plastics would be used in the home of the future, but the dwelling was filled with time-saving computerised devices, such as microwave ovens and produce freezers that slid downwards from the ceiling. Many concepts shown in the attraction would become reality, with stored music able to be piped from room to room, and some class learning to be done by children from a library of pre-recorded videotapes at home. In 1967, the kitchen computer was unsuccessfully advertised as a must-have kitchen assistant for the modern-day domestic goddess, and this was very much created for women to use. Of course, the advertisement was aimed squarely at the person who would actually buy it, the man of the house, stating, and if she pales at reckoning her lunch tabs, she can program it to balance the family checkbook. The computer cost over $10,000, and because there was no keyboard or screen attached, required a two-week programming course to use. There was, however, a built-in chopping board. 1970s This decade heralded one of the most important protocols to solidify adoption of home control technologies, X10. X10 was developed in 1975 in Scotland and formed the basis for many domestic control installations for many decades from that point. It was one of the first protocols to completely cover the home automation spectrum, from power to lighting and security. The system was expandable and each home installation was capable of controlling 256 devices on one circuit. The X10 protocol sent messages through the property's electrical system through the cabling between light switches and plug points. At the time, this was an efficient way of sending very basic signals through large spaces. The controllers ranged from basic switches to advanced programmable timers. Later on in the protocol's development, there was the ability to plug in the system to control via a home micro. The computer could then schedule events, provide decision-based sequences, and could provide many of the activities supported by home assistants today. The protocol was not without its problems, but certainly proved that a whole system solution would benefit the smart home market. Many early adopters used X10 exclusively. This increased demand for more varied X10 products, including some wireless ones. 1980s. By the 1980s, with the advent of home micros, the idea of a holistic smart home was becoming a reality. 
In the book The Personal Computer Handbook by Helen Varley and Ian Graham in 1983, the concept of a total system was explored, showing that via internal communications, everything in the home could be controlled through a computer interface. Interestingly, the authors mentioned that an early adopter of such a system was Sir Sterling Moss, a British Formula One racing car driver in the 1950s and 60s. According to the book, Sir Moss had imported a 12-volt complete control system for his London home in the 1980s. The text states he has adapted the smart home system to control almost every electrical device in the house by means of switches located in every room. The bath can be run automatically and to the correct temperature, wooden panels concealing the television can be raised and lowered, and the coffee machine in the kitchen can be activated, all by remote control. In this decade, three experimental houses were built in the United States to solidify the concepts of home automation and computer control. Called the Xanadu houses, these cavern-like prototypes used modern methods of construction deliberately designed to attract attention, and within them housed thorough implementations of computer-controlled lighting, heating and security. The 1980s was also the decade where home robots became an achievable aim. Microprocessors and batteries were small enough to fit into home-sized roaming robots, and the idea of robots as companion was solidified through science fiction blockbuster films. Some sophisticated robots were produced to pioneer the home robot market, such as the Heathkit 2000 or Simpets Newton. Other companies concentrated on programmable robots for children, such as the CompuRobot 2 or the Omnibot 2000. 1990s The Electrolux Trilobite was the first commercially available autonomous room cleaner and heralded the integration of smart home products that were not hardwired into the fabric of the building. Truly smart appliances began to emerge. Home PCs had become commonplace and the internet was becoming more accessible and understandable to large portions of the planet. This decade would provide the infrastructure required for devices to communicate over the internet, a keystone feature for the smart home. 2000s In the early part of the decade, Microsoft, looking to stimulate interest in new and emerging operating system possibilities, opened its own home of the future. The concept home concentrated on how we as users would interact with a smart home. Many technologies we use today were envisaged there, such as internet food shopping, central system home control and voice controlled appliances. The smart home made extensive use of projection technologies and touch sensitive surfaces. For example, if a user placed some ingredients in the food preparation area of the kitchen, a suggested recipe would be projected right next to them. The overall concepts of home control were refined and a concentration of internet connected devices sprang up. 2010s The Internet of Things was a concept long in the making. The broad ideas of allowing a connected system to keep track of all things goes way back to the beginnings of computer science. However, it was more than likely British technologist Kevin Ashton who coined the phrase Internet of Things, or rather Internet for Things as he preferred. His concept was of an overarching computer system keeping track of objects and activities using RFID technology. Although actually radio frequency identification RFID, and near field communication NFC, have only accounted for selected elements of the Internet of Things such as access control, contactless payments, short throw data transfer and to enable users to quickly enrol devices, the general concept has come to fruition that one system can register and keep track of all devices. 2010 to 2019 was the era of the smart home. A plethora of technologies came to the forefront simultaneously, providing the perfect storm. In no small part was this due to the popularity of voice-enabled assistants, the take-up rate of which was surprising even to the most optimistic technologists. 2020s onwards. 
The introduction of 5G will finalise the step to ubiquitous smart homes. 5G promises to become the network capable of tying together all the loose ends that currently plague smart homes. The fact that many systems, albeit for valid security reasons, do not allow themselves to speak to each other. In his discussion entitled 5G and IoT, ushering in a new era, former head of Ericsson India, Paolo Colella, states that 5G will enable us to control more devices remotely in applications where real-time network performance is critical. In the UK, the communications regulator Ofcom recognises the fact that there is an exponential growth in connected devices, quoting in a 2017 document entitled Connected Nations that there was an over 40% increase in average internet usage per household from the previous year. 5G is on its way, and there is a good chance that it will be disruptive in how it impacts many industries, home automation being a likely early adopter of this technology. For the moment, we have some time before manufacturers incorporate the true all devices connected model. So for many of us, there is a conundrum. Which ecosystem do we invest in before the revolution? As early adopters of this technology, we are not averse to the trials of encouraging disparate systems to talk to each other, but there is a risk that we will not select the system most likely to become the industry standard. There are only two ways the smart home will evolve, either with disparate, difficult to integrate systems produced by rival companies, or a truly holistic home control environment enabled by collaboration between organisations and protocols.